Hello everyone and welcome back to Shay's Hobby Dog Bay. Today is Wednesday, September the 19th, 2018. It's 7 o'clock p.m. right now. I'm here by myself. Albert and Elizabeth went to church. I didn't feel good. didn't feel like going. I'm draggy today and I have a gnawing headache. So anyway, and I don't want this video to be long, but it probably will be, but I'm going to try to hurry it up as fast as I can. This has been stressing me out. I don't know how much longer I can do this. It's fun and neat, but yet it is gets stressful. So I don't know. We'll see how far I can last with it. This is my data video. So this is an update on my data. Remember my data videos I did? So the first week I was recording how much I was awake and how much I was asleep. How much time. I got through the whole seven day week of doing that. <coughs> Y'all seen my first chart. So I ended up making another chart. You know, I wanted a pretty one using the pretty different colored markers and stuff. But I did end up messing this chart up too. And I was also trying to take notes with it beside it. So the chart ended up being kind of cut a cornered. And then at the end of the week, when I started trying to tally everything up, I was using the space under it to tally it up. That space I don't even need anymore. It looks messy. Ignore that. It took me forever. I had to have my husband's help to help me tally it all up. I, this is, okay, I'm going to show you this. That's from him helping me tally it up. All right, this is, okay, I tried this method to tally it up. I'm not going to explain it to y'all. Um, I was trying, okay, this is about my odd craft challenge, so I scratched all that out, so don't worry about that part, but this down here, I was trying to do it this way just by adding it up and trying to mark it down here. That didn't work. Um, and then this is another way I had started trying to mark it down to keep up with it, and I just couldn't figure it out. Finally, I had to have my husband help me. My husband, this is my husband's tallying up with it, which I had to read it all off to him. Okay, let me go back to the first one where it's actually where I wrote it down after we had it tallied up. Let me show you my chart first, because I don't even think I've showed y'all the, the chart after I did it pretty with the colors. All right, remember I had gotten this notebook, and then I was going to put it in there. So I put it in here. So the top part of it, so there is my chart, okay? I used purple and pink, which is both my favorite colors, purple more than pink. Gracie loves pink, so pink is her favorite color. So this is Granny and Gracie's favorite color. So awake is for pink and asleep is for purple, or you say it the other way, purple is for asleep, pink is for awake. All right, and that's, the days is up the top. On the side, I tried to start doing time you know how long i was asleep how long i was awake and that's what i can't get it straight for y'all to see good that's what gets hard to tally up all right somehow i was i don't know why i meant to take the chart on across this is where i started taking notes i wanted to read all the notes to y'all and explain but i'm not going to go through all that like i said this has gotten stressful for me to the point of almost not fun anymore so but I ended up, since I realized I'd done that and couldn't do the chart on out, I came under it to finish that day, and then I brought it out beside it. So that's what I meant by catacorner. Now over here is the trying to tally it up. We don't even need this part anymore. This is the new chart started for this week, which I started it on here. This week is for... And each time, because I started the first one on Friday, so it goes Friday to Thursday. So then, again, Friday, I started the new one. Well, today is Wednesday, okay? So tomorrow's the last day on this. And y'all see it's not all filled out. But what I was doing, if I could hold this up right for y'all to see. So I did a different method. Okay, the days, again, is across the top on the side. Because this, I'm doing... 
how many times I, I walk in my house from one room to the other. So on the side, if I can do it right with y'all, is where it's road, and y'all may not can see it right, but y'all see how I'm just doing little colored dots? And it ended up being more colored just this time on that because it's different things other than just to awake and asleep. This one is bedroom to bathroom, bathroom to bedroom, bedroom to living room, living room to kitchen, kitchen to living room. And on this side I have living room to bedroom. Up here I have kitchen to utility room. Over here I have utility room to kitchen. <laughs> this may sound silly, I know, but stuff like this interests me and it is fun to me to figure all this out to know how long or how many times i do these kind of mundane little things you know but anyway um and then when i seen that video of that them ladies doing it i thought yes that sounds so fun but i still just don't know and nobody helped me with it so i'm just going with it my way i still don't know all the gist of tallying up and how to figure it out and that's why I thought you needed to take notes because I thought they did too and just blah 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 but just the fact of finding all this out interests me okay I will show y'all more about oh what I've done I was going to explain that I started it on here but it get it got tiring every time I walked from one room to the other to come here and get my marker and mark it down okay so what I started doing, I've got a notes place that I can write notes down on my phone, but I don't even have to type it in either. I can hit a little speaker and I can speak it in. So every time I go from one room to the other, I have been taking my phone with me and I cut that on and I say it as I'm doing it. So I can be sure not to forget and get it down. Now there is... <sighs> There is a lot missing because I've already even gotten tired of doing this and have slacked on it and quit. I ain't even did any of it today. And I know this, but I'm, I'm just going to go with it and tally up what I got so far. But I do have my other days down in here and I just thought I'd do it all on here. And then at the end I would sit down to mark it because I do want the pretty, I want to keep the pretty colored chart of it and about it. But on the next one next week, I'm going to try to use one page instead of this. I've got, you know, the top half is for one, the bottom half is for another. I'm going to try to use one page for one. And at the top will be the chart. And if I do any note taking and tallying, I'll do that at the bottom of it. Now, on the back of the page, let me lay this back over here. We are not going to be able to use the back of the page, as you can see, because the markers goes through it, right? And so that would be hard to do. Okay. So, now, let me get you to the tallying of my awake asleep. Where is that paper? Right here. After hubby helped me tally it all up. And there is some hours missing, y'all. I did my best. I don't know how to do this. I mean, sometimes, because what I would have to do when I would lay down to go to sleep, the way I do it, I just have to try to keep looking at my clock. And I try my best to remember the last time that I seen <coughs> before I went off to sleep that I remember. And then the next morning I have to try to remember that and set it down. That's the way I was doing that. Well, the same with my naps. And then sometimes it would be, if it's not the o'clock or the whatever 30, I'm not going to remember it. If it's in the in-between, like, a, you know, the 15 and the 45-minute sections between the o'clocks and the 30s, and that's how I say it on a time. But anyway, I hope y'all understand what I'm talking about. It's hard for me to remember. So on some of these, I've got down, you know, 1230-something or 12-something. I don't quite remember what the exact time was. And then on some of them, I just guessed and kind of try to hopefully rounded it out the best I could. So, yes, I messed up and there's some hours lost. But oh well, I'm anyway. No. Here we go. So the chart that we came up with when hubby helped me tally it up. Friday, the first day I'd done this, I was awake 17 hours. And I was asleep 3 hours and 15 minutes. That's for the first day. And I counted all my... I wanted to go over that with y'all too so y'all would see my sleep system. I'll do that last. 
All right, Saturday, my awake hours was 10 hours. My sleep hours was 12 hours. Sunday, my awake hours was 17 hours and 30 minutes. My sleep hours was 4 hours and 30 minutes. Monday, my wake hours was 18 hours. My sleep hours was 6 hours. Tuesday, my wake hours was 13 hours and 45 minutes. My sleep hours was 5 hours and 45 minutes. Wednesday, my wake hours was 12 hours and 45 minutes. My sleep hours was 8 hours and 45 minutes. On Thursday, which was the last day, my wake hours was 19 hours. My sleep hours was 11 hours and 30 minutes. And this was started Friday, September the 7th, 2018. And it went to Thursday, September the 13th, 2018. Okay, so that was each individual day, okay? Then we tallied up for the whole week. So the whole week of a seven day period my wake hours was 108 hours my sleep hours was 51 hours and 45 minutes now my husband and my daughters for the longest has swore up and down that I sleep all the time that I am sleeping my life away my mama and my sisters has said it to me before and all this kind of stuff although I did say there's some lost hours times in there and stuff did the best I could but according to this I was awake more and longer than I was asleep I was awake for the whole week 108 hours for the whole week I was asleep 51 hours and 45 minutes now hubby figured up that all the times and things that were missing you know in a 24-hour day that what was missing was 8 hours and 15 minutes out of the whole week. So, that's the tallying. That's what I've come up with. Now what I wanted to go over with you so y'all can see my awake and my sleep routine, if that's what you would call it. Erratic. Is that the word for it? Very erratic. Um, not consistent. And I change. And this is how I do all the time. I'll change and I'll get where I'm getting up early and sleeping late and where I'm getting eight hours of sleep and then I'm up 16 hours, but whatever. And then it gets all crazy like this, you know? So I'm going to read this off to you like this so y'all can see what I mean on this. So on Friday at 10.44 a.m. is when I woke up Friday morning and that's when I started it. But when that morning when I woke up, I didn't get up out of bed. I kept laying there because I still felt sleepy and groggy and tired and I didn't feel like I had gotten enough sleep. So I laid right there and went back off to sleep. I do not really know exactly what time I went back off to sleep. Um, I don't even have a time here. I got initials. I've got D-B-O-T-S and I don't even remember now what those were supposed to stand for. That's how I do too. But I do have in my notes over here Friday after woke up at 10.45 a.m., laid there and went back off to sleep, woke up at 12.32 p.m. Because Katie and Gracie came in, stayed awake. I, I had, okay, because Katie and Gracie came in. That's why I, when I woke up, why I woke up at 12.32. I really believe if they hadn't come in at that point, she was bringing Gracie to me. I didn't really know she was going to bring her. I never really did, to be honest. But anyway, um, they came in and it woke me up and... I believe if they hadn't come in and woke me up, I'd have slept even longer. So, you know, anyway. So that's on that part. Now, let's go on. Uh, so I woke, let's see, I woke up and I was awake from then to there. And it, I don't have a time. But, you know, I put down on my chart when I was adding it up that it was, it was 1044 when I woke up. So I just put down that I fell back to sleep at 11 o'clock, you know. So, a.m. Okay, so I didn't wake up until 12.32 p.m. Alright, I took a nap at 6.02 p.m. And I woke up from my nap at 9.46 p.m. And I did not go back to sleep until Saturday morning at 7 o'clock a.m. Okay, I slept... No, see, I got that wrong. Let me go back. That's not sleep, that's awake. 
When I woke up from my nap on Friday night at 9.46 p.m., I stayed awake. It was 7 o'clock a.m. over here on Saturday morning. I just kind of started it at that time, I guess. I was still awake. I didn't go to sleep then until 10 o'clock a.m. on Saturday from waking up at 9.46 p.m. Friday night. So I went to sleep 10 o'clock a.m. Saturday morning. I woke up 2 o'clock p.m. Saturday. I went to sleep at 12 o'clock a.m. That's midnight. So that's a good thing. And I woke up at 8 o'clock a.m. Sunday morning. That's a good thing. I took a nap at 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock p.m. Woke up at 4.30 p.m. Did not go back to sleep until Monday morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Then I woke up at 12 o'clock p.m. And then I didn't go back to sleep until 6 o'clock a.m. Tuesday morning. See what I mean how erratic it is? If I'm using the right word and saying that word right. Uh, but I can't help it. This is how I've been for years and years and years. Probably most of my life. I have slept in this way. I don't know how to fix it. I've tried. I'll get regulated for two or three days and then bam, it's turned back around again, you know? Whatever. I, I don't know. Anyway, so I went to sleep at 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. I woke up at 10 a.m. Tuesday. Then I, I called myself taking a nap at 4 o'clock p.m. Tuesday. And then I woke up at 5.45 p.m. Tuesday. Well, I went to bed Tuesday night, or rather, Wednesday morning at 1.30 a.m. I woke up on Wednesday at 7 o'clock a.m. I took a nap at 4.30 on Wednesday. I woke up from that nap at 6.45 p.m. on Wednesday. I went to bed that night on Wednesday night at 10 o'clock p.m. Thursday morning, I woke up at 7 o'clock a.m. I laid down, took a nap at 1.30 p.m. on Thursday, woke up at 4 p.m. on Thursday, did not go back to sleep for Thursday night until 4.30 a.m., so it was really Friday morning. But that is how my sleep and awake does. And I'm sorry, I can't help it. So anyway, this is the data of my first week charting my awake and my sleep hours. And that's what it has resulted into. Leave your comments below. Anything that you can think of. Any opinions. Any advice about how to get regulated with sleep. What y'all think about this dated chart system that I got going. And what I'm doing. Do you think I'm retarded and lost my mind? Shut up, Becca. I know you do. Anyway. <laughs> so, like I said, this is a new week. Although it's at the end of the week. This is Thursday night. Tomorrow is Friday morning, which should start a new week for something. No, this is Wednesday night. Tomorrow is Thursday. It'll be the last day of this week. I'm charting how many times I walk from one room to another room in my house. I'm not saying opening doors. That's going to be a totally different one. Just walking through doorways from one room to another. And I'm not counting when I walk outside of my house and walk back inside my house. Just inside the rooms. I read them off to y'all. So I'm doing that. I've got it on my phone. At the end, I'm going to put it down on my chart. And then I'll do another video on this one and explain that one to y'all. And then next week, which will be, it'll start Friday. Not tomorrow, but the next day. I'm going to start a different new one. I don't know which one this is going to be. i got to think about what I'm going to do. So that's that. Tell me what you think about it. All right, guys. I'm so glad I got this video done and over with. Okay, we almost were 19-something. We almost made it to 20 minutes. and But we made it and didn't go over to a second video. So that's a good thing. <laughs> all right. That's all. I'm out of here until next time I'm done. I'm gone. Toodaloo.